Hi, I'm Sidi Sarivas from Empowering Light Language, LLC, and I just had this amazing session with one of my private speech and language clients. Um, something really interesting showed up that I thought might be of contribution to some of you that are listening and watching. Um, I, was walk I was working with one of these um, fifth grade students of mine uh, through my telepractice, so I provide different speech and language services online, and this student, we were working on his vocabulary. And one of the things that we've been doing was actually working on synonyms and antonyms, but today we actually looked at him defining words. And so he, we had um, a written definition of a word, and then we had four written options underneath. And this is the first time that I'd done it this particular way with a student. Usually I would just have him, I'd give him the word from a book that we were reading, and I'd be like, hey, so what does this word mean to see like, if he was getting a grasp of the context, if he could use the context clues and things like that, um, or what his background knowledge might be able to provide for him related to this word. But this time I was doing it the reverse. I was giving the meaning and the definition first, and then he had to choose from four options. And so one of the things that's amazing about this student is that when it's orally presented, when I'm reading the, the meanings and I'm reading the words out to him, he totally was like, boom, 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 super smart. He just has so much information that he wants to share and that he has available to him. But when he's actually having to read, it slows him down so much that sometimes he forgets what he was initially reading. And then when he's given the options to pick what word, it's like, wait, what was that again that I was trying to actually find the word that matches which meeting and all these different things. And so one of the things that I did is I read the meaning, like for instance, oh, um, a, something that has a blade that you use to dig up dirt and he'd have four different options and I was instead of asking him to read the options because I was trying to have be, have him be a little bit more independent I was like which is the word that pops out to you that just tells you yes this is the answer this is the one that is that the teacher would want me to pick and right away he started being like oh this one pops out and he couldn't read the word but he knew that that was the answer. And it was like amazing how he got to it really quickly. He was like, that one. And so I was like, you see how fast it is if you could just be like, just like tap into your knowing and be like, boom, this is what I know. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what the word is or what it, it's like, this is the, it, it, it's like it pained for him. It like lit up and you could see him be like, as soon as I told him to do that before he could really even stop himself by thinking about it, he just went that. And he was able to pick out shovel, which is, you know, a blade that a single blade that has that you use to with a used to dig up dirt and you use it to with a long handle and all these different things. So he was able to do that. And he and it wasn't just this one time thing. I was like, oh, let me play around with this a little bit more. Like, OK, what's that? And so he was able to do it more and more and more. And there was, I think, one time out of all of the practice that we did today that he got stuck and he was like, actually, I think it's this one. And, he, and in part of it, what I got, what my awareness that I got around it was that he was starting to think about it instead of just boom, just being really fast. And so I'm wondering if we taught our kids to do that, if we taught our kids to kind of read the energy of things, especially our, our kids that are having a hard time reading or having some difficulties with the academics, um, you know, kind of go around some of those limitations and actually not have them be limitations at all and it just be faster and easier for them particularly with this multiple choice options um, which is a lot of our standardized tests that where these kids are doing are multiple choice and so i did this also I, the idea for this actually came from a session i had with a fifth another fifth grader completely different bilingual student yesterday and we were working on idioms and with that one i i would we did a little scenario that i would read aloud to him and then I would, I would write out and read out the options for like what the idiom could mean. And then after a while I found a worksheet and I was able to just read all the different options. But either way for him, it was like, don't read them all out. Just let me just tell you what it is. And like he, and I was almost, I was making it slower for him, too slow for him by reading it out. As soon as I read the scenario and I was like, okay, so what does this idiom mean? Which is a figurative language, some expression that it doesn't actually mean the literal thing that it says like, oh, I'm bending over backwards. You're not actually bending over backwards when you see that. Like, oh, I'm tired of bending over backwards for my family. 
you're not actually bending over backwards literally, but energetically it's like, oh, I'm doing a lot for them. I'm going above and beyond for my family. Well, he was able to find the meaning that matched that and from a, a four options, four written options, without me having to read them all every once in a while, this, what, this first student. And so then when I was playing with this student today or related to defining words, I was like, I wonder if this would work for him. Let me see. And he was able to do boom, boom, boom from the beginning really fast. So, you know, I invite you to play around with this tool. And I'm also curious if what if we could actually access our knowing faster and faster that way as well. If we weren't actually having to stop and figure things out and think so much, I wonder what we'd be aware of. I wonder what what answers and what questions and what information would be available to us if we didn't have to cognitize everything, if we didn't choose to cognitize everything and analyze everything so much. Because one of the things that, that we're doing with these kids, in my interesting point of view, is when we're teaching them to think and figure out so much that they're kind of making that more important than their awareness. I'm not saying not to think at all. It's just, what if we could actually be a little bit faster and more efficient so that they can get through some of these activities that we're asking them to do and actually be more functional and successful in school and out of school. And so when I'm also asking questions of myself, I'm more and more just picking things and choosing and choosing faster and faster without necessarily waiting for evidence or for a cognitive reason for why I'm choosing it. I just, I just know that this is what's going to work. And then now that I've been playing around with this more and more and seeing how it's been really helpful for my life, I was like, well, what if I could actually use this and empower my students and my clients with this tool as well? And so these are just two examples today and yesterday that I got to see how the kids were like, oh my gosh, this could actually be easier and faster. Like, like these kids are just having such a hard time and they're just, it's, they're using so much energy to think and it's just wearing them out. All the things that the schools are asking them to do these days and all over the country, all over the world that what if we could actually make it a little bit easier for them and give them these tools to play around with it and have a lot more ease, have a lot more joy, and actually have learning be more fun again. Just an idea. So let me know if you just choose to play around with this tool of teaching the kids how to pick up on the energy and just like grab the answers from the teacher's head or from the sheets really quickly without thinking about it. Let me see, let me know by posting under this video what shows up for you, what shows up for the students, what it creates for them, and also for their families. Thanks so much for taking a moment to watch, and I'll see you again soon. Have a good afternoon, morning, or evening, wherever you are. Bye.